patients with carcinoma of a non-primary really have a, still a bad prognosis with just approximately a 10 month as a median survival. So it's still a very terrible disease for these patients. It's still a significant category of patients in oncology, probably around 3% of a total. And after 20 years of research, there's still no true standard. We treat these patients with chemotherapy, including regimen like cisplatin, gemcitabine, or carbopatin and taxol. But, but truly, uh, the response rate is not that high and the impact on overall survival has never truly been demonstrated. So it's still a very important unmet need in oncology. Patients with carcinoma of an non primary or CAP is really the perfect example, potentially at least, for personalized medicine. And this is because basically what you want to know is where the cancer comes from, and this is what the imaging is not able to do, but maybe most importantly, what is the true biology in there, so that you can give the right drug to the right patients. This is the the paradigm of uh, personalized medicine. In the future, we really hope that some tests will identify very likely primary and uh, related biology so that you can give the right drug to the right patients. Indeed, there are already a series of tests that have been developed by several companies using either RT-PCR or microanalysis that can be done on the cup tissue, the metastatic tissue, and they can identify adequately a likely primary cancer in approximately 80% of the cases, which is quite high. Now, what we don't know is whether doing this can impact on the patient management and its outcome, obviously. To demonstrate their impact, we need randomized trials, and these randomized trials are currently occurring. In those trials, we're randomizing patients to receive either standard chemotherapy or to have a test being done, try to identify a primary, and adapt therapy according to this likely primary site, so that you can use uh, targeted therapy or different chemotherapy regimens, hormonal therapy, etc., depending on the likely primary. The hypothesis is that doing so will be able to postpone cancer progression and hopefully overall survival as well. If we are honest, we haven't made a true significant progress for management of patients with carcinoma of an unknown primary in the last 20 years, at least coming from clinical trials. Probably immunohistochemistry has been some a progress, and the different treatments that we're using in various cancers have also helped patients with carcinoma of an unknown primary. Now we have the opportunity to do specific trials for these patients and to be finally able to personalize therapy thanks to this test that can bet on a specific primary cancer and maybe a specific biology. We will also have the weapons to, to target that. So I, I, I have some hope that this generation of trial will be able to demonstrate that indeed using this test can postpone progression for these patients.